Boss up on these niggas. Boss up on these niggas. Boss up on these niggas. Damn, what I'm talking about, nigga. I'm looking kind of good. It's like kind of hit me today, you know what I'm saying? This is a different setting than my usual video, you feel me? Damn, this camera crispy to ho, 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 ho. It look like I got a fucking uh, Canon 7D in this bitch. Yo, today, you know what I'm saying? I got a story time for y'all, yo. I want to know if, like, I know the title tell y'all what's it going to be about, but I don't know if I should say it or just go with the story, because, like, I'm a... I got a nigga got banned from Wegmans, bro. But look, my job, the the way I get money, the way I get paid, you know what I'm saying? My motherfucking career at the moment. I work for Instacart, which is a place, it's not a place, but it's basically like Uber Eats, but not not food, it's groceries, you know what I'm saying? What you do is you go in the store, right? And you shop for people. Gucci on the wallet, shout out to my man's Express, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. Give you this. Instacart card, you feel me? I pay with this card and I deliver it to the customers. You know, that's it's for like handicapped people or like old people or like lazy ass people like y'all that probably just don't even want to get out the house and want everybody else to do y'all shopping. You feel me? Yeah, so I'm doing that regular smackler day. Actually, I woke up, I had a good ass day. I was bumping some vibing type music as usual, you know what I'm saying? I uh made me a bagel. That bagel was good as fuck. Put that joint in the motherfucking uh the 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 toaster, you know what I'm saying? Put some uh it was some cream cheese, but it ain't any cream cheese. That honey wheat, you know what I'm saying? It was from like Panera bread. But I'm pretty sure that y'all don't give a fuck. So apparently after I ate the bagel and stuff, I was getting some customers. Like that job pays that job pays well. And Wegmans is one of the reasons why my job pays well. Because when I go to Wegmans, that's where that money comes in. A customer takes an hour. People always ask me how much I get paid per hour. I don't get paid per hour, I get paid by customer. It's different prices for each time I get a customer. Like sometimes I can get down as low as 10, but as high as like 40, you feel me? So I can get paid 40 an hour and then like $10 an next hour but that's besides the fact Wegmans always give me like not always but like if it's a good Wegmans order it's like 18 or more my first my first customer that day was like a good $37 I was like hold on nigga I didn't even leave the house yet nigga I was still smashing my bagel you know what I'm saying and when I got it I was like hold on I was still eating my bagel because nigga they ain't going to ruin my breakfast you feel me I'm already in a good mood I went did that order got that all out the way second order another Wegmans order it gave me like a good $18 I'm like oh Wegmans doing me good today I might have to tap that you know what I'm I went in the Wegmans the second time I was doing my regular schmegler grocery shopping like I always do trying to make sure the customer right you know what I'm saying girl she asked for some Vienna bread Vienna rolls and it came in like a six pack but they ain't had a six pack so I went to the person in the bakery I'm like can you whip this six pack for me Nick oh pause 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 fuck pause. yeah can you can you make the six pack of the Vienna rolls you feel me he was like yeah I got you so as I'm waiting for the Vienna rolls, I turn around. It's a good, it's a good ass like a hot bar behind me. So I'm like, shit, I don't have to tap that nigga. I snatched one of them motherfucking uh, chicken things. I was like, fuck, I'm in a motherfucking good mood. That shit tastes. It wasn't even all that, you know what I'm saying? But fuck it, I got a tender, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be no big of a deal, you know what I'm saying? It's just a chicken tender. That's why I fucked up. You feel me? This is what happened. I uh. Why is it so bright? There we go. That natural light. That sun hit me. Going to the uh, cash register. Got that out the way. Swipe my car. I'm finished. I'm about to go deliver my order, of course. So I'm walking to my car with the with the big ass cart in my hand. I got my headphones and I'm talking to my my man Jay, my cousin. Shout out my man Jay. You feel me? Little freak bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm pushing my cart. I feel somebody touching my shoulder. I'm like, nigga, back up. It's like, nah. But I, I was like, oh. And he was like, um, can you come to my office? I'm like, nigga. Walk to the all pushing my cart. Then I was like, is there a problem? He was like, yep. Heard him perfectly clearly. But I was like, huh? He was like, yep. I was like, damn, fuck. Ten minutes later in that room, it was dead silence. No TVs, no music, no crickets, nothing. I did not hear one thing. So I'm like, is this about the chicken tonacho? And he was like, yep. I chuckled. 20 seconds after that laugh, I was like, it's not really a big deal or anything, right? That nigga ain't say nothing. Like, nigga, 
Wait, I know you just heard my question. Like, don't disrespect. I'm the waviest boss. You better put some respect on my name. After I said that, uh, he, he was basically working on some paperwork and stuff. We was at the table. He put the two papers down. And he was like, um, you have a $50 fine for taking one chicken tender. I'm like... Nigga. In the back of my head, I was really calm in the room, but like in the back of my head, I'm like, nigga, fifty dollars for one chicken tender? And he was like, you you gotta get uh served a pound for the chicken tender because it's uh the payment is for a pound. They can't charge me for one chicken tender because they don't know how much that weighs. You feel me? I guess. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, nigga, if I'm paying for one pound of chicken tenders? I need to leave with one pound of chicken tenders. Like, I'm paying one pound of chicken tenders for one chicken tender I took. And a penalty fee. He told me I had to pay $50. I was like, is that, is that it? Is that it? That's all I gotta do? Thank you. Because I'm trying to, I'm really trying to rush out because, first of all, I'm trying to get the order as soon as possible because I don't want it to mess up, like, my, uh, my time average for uh, my customers and my job and stuff. I'm just trying to leave, so I'm like... That's all I gotta do. I'm trying. If he if he would have said yes, I would like, all right, thank you. I would have got up and left. Like, nah, that nigga that nigga took it to heart. He was like, that's the easy part. He asked for my driver's license and my phone number. Of course, I gave it to him. He made a copy of the driver's license. I'm like, what is this nigga doing all this for, yo? I know he not ready. To, like, do something serious. Like, like when before I got in, I'm like, these niggas ready to ban me or something, yo. He was like, the other side is that you're temporarily will be considered trespassing. So I'm like, I'm banned for two years. He was like, yep, basically. I was like, yo, I wasn't like in the back of my mind, I wasn't trying to say I couldn't, but I, I was just like stuttering low key. I was like, I can't, I, I can't really do that. Cause like my job and all that. Cause I work for Instacart and all that. And he, this nigga had the audacity to say, I know. You know, nigga, I don't got nothing written on me that says I'm an Instacart shopper. He was like, um, so basically all you're gonna have to do is, all you're gonna have to do is deny all the Instacart orders where I have to go to Wegmans. Nigga, I'ma just, I'ma just not work in this part of town. I'm walk, I'ma work in the other part of town. And he was like, you gotta, you're banned from all Wegmans, not just this one. Like, my nigga, is it that serious? Like, you really wanna do all this over a chicken tender? All right, so he told me I'ma have to do all the orders. So I'm like, damn. I, it, 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 it hit me a little bit, I was like, fuck. It, it low key hurt me. I was like, damn, really, yo? Why man used to be the spot, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, fuck it, I'ma do it. I'ma still make money at any other store. Yo, one thing I forgot to add, while I was in the office, like, right before I left, I was like, I wanna ask you something. Do you think this is fair? Do you think what y'all doing to me is fair for what I did? It was two people in there. It was it was the main guy. He was kind of old. It was like a young guy. He looked like he was like 19 or 20. Like my age, you feel me? Yeah, so I took it as uh, the young guy was a witness and he snitched on me or whatever. But that's besides the fact, you feel me? I asked, I asked both of them, is it fair? Nigga, this is the most bullshit I ever heard in my life. I, um, I asked the first guy, the older one, I was like, does this sound fair to you for what I've done or whatever? I ain't said it like that. I said it in a more educated way. This man was like, well, it doesn't, it's not what's fair, it's what the uh, rules are. And I was like, bro, besides the rules, do you personally think this is fair? And he was like, it's not what I personally think. I'm like, my nigga. So I, I, I peeped that he keep dodging the question. So I asked him again and I keep dumbing it down. I don't know why I have to keep dumbing it down after it's an obvious statement. So I'm like, bro, not containing to the rules, bro. Do you personally think that this is a fair treatment for what I did? And he's still saying like, well, what I think is not like nigga. Like that's not what I asked you. So I asked him one more time. So it's not really unfair when you think, I'm like, nigga, don't try that now. Nigga. You just tried to disregard my question four times. The only reason he disregarded my, my question is because he didn't think it was fair. And I know that's the case. I just wanted him to say it. That nigga, a whole ass nigga for that. He could have he kept it a G. And then 
I went to go ask the other, the young one. Nah, this one, a bitch ass nigga right here, yo. I was like, yo, I'm gonna ask you the same question. Do you think this is fair? The old nigga gonna cut him off to what he was about to say and was like, well, he's under me, so. I'm like, nigga, I ain't ask you shit. Like, I don't care. I'm asking him a question. This this man gonna be like, like, yeah, what well, he said, I'm working with him, so it doesn't matter. Like, that had to be his boss or something. He was looking back and forth with me and his boss for like a good, let's say, 20 seconds. Like, just back and forth. And it's like, it's not like it's hidden. I can obviously see that he's pinching back and forth to me and him like after that 20 seconds he's like well the rule's pretty fair to me i'm like hey, shut your ass up you know you bullshitting yo ain't no way you gonna sit here and stare back and forth in my face like i can't see it and then say some bullshit like that like nigga you're just saying that so your ass won't get fired or something like nigga stop trying to impress that little ass boss of yours so I swing on both of y'all niggas. The next order I got was at Shoppers. I did that, surpassed that one. Boom, we done. Give me the next customer. Every time I got a, a, a customer, I'll be like, damn, oh shit, here we go again. That mean, that's that, oh shit, here we go again. Oh shit, here we go again. That, that was in the back of my mind every time I finish a customer, cause I'm like, yo, I hope they do not give me Wegmans, bro. Like, I'ma be low key hurt. They didn't give me Wegmans though, they gave me Giant. I'm on my way to Giant. Niggas get a text message like your shift has ended and your account has been deactivated. I'm like, hold, wait a minute, wait a minute, bro. So you telling me that you told me, damn, what? So you telling me that you called my job and told them the Wegmans incident. Why would you do that, bro? Why I shouldn't have had told him I was an Instacart shopper, but I don't know why I did that, bro. But fuck it, it's been done and it's been dead. But like, yo, over a chicken tender, they want me to pay fifty dollars. Like I'm black. Like you can't have no chicken tender just sitting right there, staring at me dead in my face, crispy as hell. The brown is coming off. It's matching my skin complexion. Skin complexion. 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 It wanted me to come over there and grab. So that's what I did. I did the chicken tender a favor, nigga. Like, what are y'all mad for? Like, what is going on? Y'all doing me grimy, bro. I bet you if any other, they see me and they saw my skin complexion that I had a do rag on. Like, fuck it, this nigga up to something. Yeah, I was thinking i was like man i'm gonna just go up there take my glasses off <laughs> take my do-rag off i'm not even gonna wear braids i'm gonna wear my mohawk in instacart has sent me an email see that's why i fucks with instacart because instacart is very very understandable you feel me they wants to see my side of the story so they wanted a written response and all that i tried to call them niggas but i think them niggas like blocked me or took me off the call list or something that was grimy but I ain't gonna say fuck it to cuz y'all did me good on every other day. I put my written response and I explained everything. I'm just waiting for them to respond back to me and tell me if I can still work or not, you feel me? So until I get the confirmation that I could get my uh, account activated, I can't work for that company and I might need to find a new job, which I hate doing because that's one of the hardest processes. And like, niggas can't, this is the worst time to take my job away from me. I'm paying for everything I gotta do for Cali this week. Not this week, but this month. First of all, I've been ready to pay for all this, but I've been waiting on everybody that I'm going with, you feel me? But yeah, yo, that's the end of the story, you feel me? Man, my skin is popping, man. I, I might have to take a picture today. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications on, because I'm going to keep on going with these lit-ass videos, because that's all I make, you know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. Yeah, Spike Lee tuning out. Wavy is boss in the game. I didn't even see that in the intro, bro. I was so heated about this freaking uh, situation that I didn't even get to say that I'm the waviest ball. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications on. Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, that's SpikeLeak underscore. That's it for this one. Uh, what's the last word I usually say? Dang! Can I just rap for a minute? What has this rap shit invented? A bunch of young niggas who rap for a living Put the light on them and tell the whole world This is how rappers present it 
Well, nigga, I try for a living, finesse in the universe, tapping my limit, no cap on me, nigga, no ceiling. I don't see no end, no beginning, just stuck in the now. Yeah, uh, I saw the future. These people is clueless, the smarter, abusing my grammar is fluid. I speak with the 